All right, fruit lovers, this is Ross. Today's video, I'm gonna to try to convince you guys to grow the finger lime. If you're not familiar with this amazing fruit, it is a lime that is slender in shape, finger-like in shape, and comes from Australia. It has a nice lime flavor, so easily substituted for limes, but not in the sense of using them for juice, as they are very slender and much smaller. What you instead use them for is their amazing texture and lime flavor because when you open them up, you just have to break them with your hand or you can use a knife and then you can squeeze out the vesicles here at, at the bottom. And this is what is called, a lot of people describe as lime caviar. So these individual vesicles are kind of like little pop rocks. You know, you eat them in your mouth and they just pop and they explode with this amazing lime and even slightly sweet flavor. You can eat them fresh. I think they're incredible in so many different ways in the kitchen. Obviously a substitute for caviar, but I think even better is a nice little substitute or you can put them on top of sushi. So get yourself a little bit, of, if you're gonna make nigiri at home, get yourself a little bit of rice, put the fish on top, mold it into that nice shape brush on some soy sauce, put some coarse sea salt on top, and then squeeze on some of these lime caviar finger lime vesicles. And I'm telling you, you got yourself some incredible sushi right there. So uh, this is an incredible fruiting plant for culinary purposes, but you can also grow it pretty much anywhere. And I'm here in zone 7A in the Philadelphia area. Now I'm not growing it in the ground. I think that'd be a dream if I could. But even here in a 10 gallon size pot, what I'm able to do is bring this plant in during the winter. So when it gets below 40 or we see frost in the forecast, I bring it inside, it turns into a house plant. And then after frost, that last frost date, we bring it back out, put it back here on the patio. Give it food all throughout the growing season, even in the winter time, make sure we're keeping it consistently watered. Keep pruning it actually as well. We wanna just keep pruning back the new growth by about a half or even by a third. This keeps that nice little bush or beach, uh, beach ball shape that people want on their citrus trees. And it just is uber productive. I just said uber because it does. It produces actually multiple crops of finger limes. So you kind of get, right now I'm getting them in the summer. This is uh, almost the first of August. And then I'm gonna get them again when I bring it back in and we'll have them during the winter. So I'm starting to harvest now. This thing's probably got at least 40 or so finger limes on it. I haven't had it for that long and believe it or not, in probably about the second or third year after you get it in the mail, it's gonna fruit. Uh, it may even fruit in the first year when you get it. These things love to fruit, they're very productive and Again, you can grow them even in cold places. You don't need a, uh, a, a, so many chill hours in the winter time for sweet citrus. This is a sour citrus that turns out great. So again, I'm gonna get multiple crops. And then by the way, now we're even getting the beginnings of the next crop. I'll zoom in and show you guys that right now. But here is the first crop there. We're still a little bit away from harvesting most of these, but I try to stagger it because I don't want to get them all at once. It's a really productive tree. And then in here is the beginnings of the next crop. And you can see them really small. And I probably will get another 40 or so finger limes minimum. It's covered in citrus. Uh, and by the way, you bring it inside and it flowers typically in the winter, in the spring, before I can bring it outside. And it doesn't matter. The bees don't necessarily need to pollinate it. It does its thing and forms finger limes anyway. So really, really cool. Having a lot of success in general though, growing citrus here in the Philadelphia area in containers. Highly recommend that you guys invest in the finger lime. We will see you guys for the next video. Take care.